So this is a little unusual because uh, now since we came here, I think we have been here for how many days? Been here, Simon? Oh, I think it's seven days now. Seven days. Yeah, we have been here. Uh, I'm not good at, <laughs> at counting days, but we have been here for seven days, and every single day we had. We have even been out with a guide. I've been that for one day, driving to look for bisons. Or we have been, um, the first day we just drew around on our own to get like a kind of an overview over the area, the huge forest. But um, otherwise we've just been hiking, 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 the, the, the meadows, the forest, looking for bisons, deer, all kind of stuff. Um, today uh, it started out like really windy with a lot of rain, so we decided to take a day just to like fix the, you know, get photos uh, done. I think something is important. Let's have a look. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, a lot of photos. And yeah doing some backups, uh, looking through all the footage, cleaning cameras, cleaning, uh, cleaning the sensors, all that kind of stuff. And just uh, spent this day uh, getting reorganized so we are ready to head out again, hopefully tomorrow. Um, so uh, and then when we, when we were uh, ha having our breakfast, we, um, we discovered there was a little jay, or actually two jays jumping around just outside the cabin and it's Look, okay, look here, out here, we have the our little terrace with the trees. And uh, yeah, that is, <laughs> we decided to make a photo blind because yesterday evening we also saw the fox it was completely completely dark i made a little recording with my mobile phone on the terrace uh, or i don't know what it's called in in english balcony or whatever a little wooden thing outside but the reason why there are all these animals is because uh, the lady who has uh, rented us this little nice cabin she they like she and they here in uh, in this area uh, the the food garbage they have like uh, you know uh, potatoes and things that gets old or they don't eat um, they don't trash that they put it to the to the forest apparently and uh, we were told to do the same uh, and uh, the animals come there and and eat some of that so it's a little unusual actually to have uh, all all the houses has kind of like a little feeding spot and the birds apparently and the foxes really like that so we decided to uh, benefit from this situation and actually change the cabin into a photo blind and look at this what we have done it's really cold in here that's why i wear my down jacket and simon is wearing his hat but uh, look at this it's a uh, we have taken the uh, Fjeldugen uh, Pro thing that Simon has and we have uh, glued that up or with duct tape <laughs> and then here we have a camouflage net and the lenses and here Simon is waiting hi Simon hello <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me know when we are going on this unusual thing let me just show you a little around here in the mess in the cabin here are all the computers and stuff like that uh, doing backups nice little thing here for the now where we are in the cabin we have this nice little apple brandy that we enjoy every single morning and our photo backpacks tripods more photo backpacks, beautiful photo, television screen, Simon's like huge camera slider that we are going to set up hopefully tomorrow, filters for the drones, more backpacks, pelly cases with equipment, Simon's lovely tripod here and all the shoes. <laughs> It's just a, a, a joke between us because uh, Simon hates his uh, tripod because it's uh, wobbly. 
and uh, every single day he has to complain at least twice about the tripod so uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, Simon just say the Jay is outside so uh, let me stop my uh, endless talking and let's get out and see what's here Ooh. Okay, come and look at this. Let's see what I got. Oy. Okay. Oh, he's nice. Look at him in the tree. Really good. Yeah. <sighs> this is really nice. First of all, because we can take a, a really, really windy and rainy day and turn it into a really good photo day uh, from our little homemade uh, cabin photo blind. It's really really nice and also because I think the uh, the birds here are not so shy because they're used to people walking around and uh, we have seen now the squirrel, the, the, um, the jay. We didn't photograph the squirrel but now we have already really good photos of the jay and um, yeah uh, I think we're just going to spend the rest of the day lying here with a cup of coffee and oh it's great it's so different but but really nice. I hope and pray the fox will come. That'll be too good to be true. But uh, yeah, let's do some wildlife photography from our little photo blind. It's early morning here in Poland, in Bievowiesa. It's about half an hour before sunrise. Simon and I are on our way out to uh, make a little different pictures and uh, films. Simon has brought the slider. We have the drone in the backpack. And I've also brought a little gimbal and some sound recording equipment. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens and let's hope the light is really good. It's really, really beautiful morning and later today we are a little busy because later today it should be raining and very windy. So we're hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll get the end time to get the drone up and to make some time lapses. We are a little laid out because uh, it took a little while to get here. It's slow to walk with a heavy backpack and uh, very uneven terrain. But uh, I think once we get there, it's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, so finally we are here um, at the spot we had planned would be really, really good. And the reason why we are here uh, is because uh, 
Sorry, give me a break. Whew, it was a heavy backpack. But um, yeah, we have the drone. We want to fly just in the edge of the forest to see and get a little up out over the fields. Um, and Simon is going to prepare his uh, slider here to make uh, hopefully a time lapse. We would both have loved to be here like maybe 15 minutes before because the sun is already getting up. But uh, I think Simon is uh, quick at the gimbal and I'm definitely also quick at getting the drone up. So uh, not so much recording, vlogging from this, but uh, I promise to uh, show you a little when setting up this uh, time lapse and hopefully we can also show you a result. But uh, I don't want to promise anything because, yeah. Time lapse is set up here, but it's really challenging. First of all, because um, it was really clouded when we started, and we hoped a little for some uh, early sun uh, coming through the birch trees. But um, now the sun has risen to above them, and when it comes through, if it comes through as a blue sky, it will be very, very uh, sharp. And we have a really a challenge with the dynamic range on the sensor, so. Um, we might be forced to start over and phew, this is just time lapse in a nutshell. I'm not, uh, I'm never making, almost never making time lapses, but Simon is. We'll see. Uh, if something turns out good, uh, <laughs> yeah, I will show you. Otherwise, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We were not too lucky with the time lapse. It was hard to control the bright skies and the clouds burned out. But even though we were not that lucky with the time lapse, we were definitely lucky with something else. Because as we were walking over the meadow, suddenly a little fox appeared in front of us. It was sneaking around looking for mice and we both managed to get some nice photos of this beautiful moment with the little fox.
I was like, what more can we ask for? I don't know. It's, it's crazy. <laughs>